people, I have a few things. Let me get my list out here. Got some stuff to do today. As always, I've already, I've already had a semi-productive day and I don't know, I feel like two weeks ago or even like a few days ago, four days ago, I would only be able to do like one thing a day, like one big task a day. And then I was done for the rest of the day because I was like so nauseous and not feeling well. And now I feel like, well, I did stuff all morning and afternoon, and now I've got a little bit left in me. So let's see what else we can power through and get done today. Alex and I had a meeting with our lawyer today to get, you know, some legal stuff in order. Don't put it off, because we have been putting it off. So this is my little tip for you, okay? Little pro tip. <laughs> I feel like everyone says that these days. Pro tip! But some more exciting things that I need to do, clean my closet. Is that exciting? You guys, for the past four months, no joke. So I've done laundry and I've, you know, separated it, put it into everyone's room, put it away, except for my clothes. I just put them in a pile. I'm like, whatever, I don't even care. So all of the clothes that I've worn for the past four months are just in a pile in my closet. And my closet is so nice. We worked so hard putting that together. I feel like we need to respect it and keep it in good shape. Do you know what I mean? So I need, I need to do that. Oh, by the way, oh my gosh, uh, a portion of this video is sponsored by KiwiCo. You guys know how much I love them. I'll share more about them in a minute. But uh, they're like kids crates, they're steam based. Oh my, I love them so much. So I will share more about them, but uh, we'll get some stuff done first. Okay, so a recipe book. If you saw my latest grocery haul, you guys know that I have meal planned for the next century. And, well, not really, but <laughs> I feel that way. I printed out so many recipes. I always feel so put together. So anyway, I'll talk more about it, but I need to put my recipe book together. I went to Office Depot, shared it on Instagram. I share a little bit more on Instagram of my daily day, daily day live. So uh, follow me there, like if you want to, if you have Instagram, whatever. So banana bread, oh, today's day. Today is the day we're gonna make banana bread. That was my banana bread dance. It's, you can take my moves, it's cool. Oh, snack board for tonight. And maybe I'll share dinner. I don't know what for dinner. Oh crap, do you guys ever get that way? Where here I am talking about, I got my life together. I made meal plans for the next century, but I don't know what's for dinner tonight. So I thought I was going to be doing this much earlier in the day, but all the editing that I did just kept setting me back. And then we had the meeting and it's just, do your days ever not go as planned? Because I feel like that's every day for me, which is why it's even more important to meal plan. I'm like licking my lips, I just ate something. I am a mess and a half, nothing new here. So let's get our recipe book together first so I can like pick something out to make for dinner tonight. I'm already out of breath, okay. Don't even look around, it's a mess here, nothing new. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys. I have everything for my uh, recipe book. I forgot to tell you that, okay, another reason why I feel like I have my life together. Should I show you? Should we take a quick field trip? Okay. Field trip, field trip, field trip, field trip. I never have my shoes on in the house. Field trip, field trip. This might not be very impressive to you because you haven't seen it before. Oh, don't. I don't, I, that's not on my to-do list today. Maybe tomorrow. Let me close the door. <laughs> Alex and I cleaned the garage yesterday. I'm gonna open the door up, get some sunlight in here. <laughs> that's how I feel on the inside sometimes. Okay, still out of breath. <laughs> Alex and I, when I tell you we spent all day cleaning the garage, I mean, I wish I was exaggerating. This place was a disaster. This was like our dumping ground. Obviously, it's like out of sight, out of mind. Oh, we don't need that. Put it in the garage. When we moved here, like this was the room we didn't get to. Like we had boxes here, we had furniture, we had all kinds, of, and we've been donating little by little. Like I had, I don't know, probably, 15 lamps from the other house. We don't need lamps in this house. There's like a hundred light bulbs and I wish I was exaggerating about that because we had to buy <laughs> light bulbs to replace them. Anyway, 
I tried to sell them on Marketplace. I think I sold a couple, but I, we ended up donating. So we donated 90% uh, of the stuff that was in here that we moved from the other house and couldn't find a spot for. I wish I had a before picture to show you because it was so terrible, but I'll show you an after and you might even still think, <laughs> but just know it was a hundred times worse than this. Okay, are you ready? You guys saw me put this area together, so that's not so bad. Uh, the bad news is though, we don't really use it to put our shoes on because we don't ever use our garage door. We use the front door. Uh, this is the garage, wow. Oh, if you can imagine stuff piled to the ceiling, basically, yep. Yeah. All those bikes on in the ceiling were down here. Yeah, that was fun. So just cluttering up. We had like a bike rack here. It just wasn't working. So, so what a space saver that is. Any way to get stuff off of the floor. And then we have like holiday decor and stuff over there, but I am just so happy that we tackled this yesterday, it makes my heart happy. Okay, let's go back inside. Every time I start a video, I think, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> and then I end up talking for like 20 minutes about nonsense. Oh, did I tell you? What was that noise? Alex is having friends over tonight. And so I just, I need to tidy the house up a little bit. I'm gonna make some snacks for them. And, um, but that'll be later. So here's the stuff that I bought from Sables. Oh, that's why I started talking about the garage because I bought sheet protectors, not from Sables because dang, were they expensive from Sables. So I went to Target, and, but then I found some yesterday. So I'm gonna return this piece of crap and get the ones I found yesterday in the garage. Five hours of intense cleaning and I saved myself uh, $6. So hashtag worth it. <laughs> Let's talk about meal planning. I don't know how the majority of people feel ever, but when I meal plan, I feel like I have my life together. I feel like that mom when I know what's for dinner, when it's easy, when it's quick, when it is family friendly and delicious. Those are like my top five. Did I say five things? I hope I did. I need water. I gotta purify my soul. Hydration station. Bottoms up. Ugh. Always makes me feel so much better. Okay, come on. I don't always meal plan. <laughs> this is not news to you. But when I do, I feel like, oh my gosh. Wow. This is why people do it. So, I took time, fell down a rabbit hole. I actually have been getting for the past almost year, um, a meal plan, a monthly meal plan from Elise Ellis. I've raved about her every few videos. <laughs> Hashtag not spawns. She does not know I'm even talking about her. I just adore her meals that she makes. They're macro friendly, but you don't have to count macros. Just know that they're a bit healthier and they're easy, simple. They hit all my five points, but add on healthy as well. Um, I know healthy means different things to different people. So I printed out so many of them <laughs> and I thought, well, sure. I have so many recipes. Have you seen my recipe book? <sighs> okay. I'll go get it. I shared it on Instagram. And, um, and when I say I shared it on Instagram, I mean like, I don't know. I shared one recipe or someone asked, so I don't really, really remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, this is it. <laughs> oh, yes. And you know what? It's, it's kind of been working for me, except for when it doesn't, right? Because I have all of these recipes that I've printed out, you know, throughout time. And these aren't even my favorites, if I'm being honest, because over time I just recycle the papers that I print out. And I thought, Kim, you need a space where you can keep all your tried and true recipes, like the cranberry salsa dip that I make for Christmas every year. So good. I need that. I need a tab in my recipe book that just says, you know, holiday recipes. What am I doing? I'm making a mess. So here's the actual what recipe book, what it should look like and not a bunch of loose leaf papers in here. So there's recipe cards, okay? And it's nice and simple and it's fun and it's great. But ask me how many cards I filled up. Hardly any. One day when I sat through and I filled a bunch up and then after that, 
I can't keep up with things like that, you know? I'm a year behind on my scrapbooking. So I thought if I can print up a recipe, that would be great. And that's another thing about finding recipes online these days. Most of the time you can print them up. So I just got a little binder. These are my favorite little tabbies. I used to use them, I'm not sure I used them in high school. Yeah, I think I used them in high school. Definitely used them in college. And they are just, um, you know, divider tabs, but they also have a pocket on the, in them. So you can just shove really anything that you need. And I feel like that will, really help me stay organized. So I'm just gonna take the time. Wait, where are the tabbies? Oh, here they are. That's my least favorite part, writing on the tabs. Cause like, yeah. <laughs> listen, my handwriting, I have like five styles of handwriting. You know how when you see handwriting experts and they're like, oh, this is definitely written by this person. Oh yeah, that's their hand. I have like five different styles of handwriting depending on what mood I am and how big of a rush I'm in. And then like when I'm focused, I'm like, okay, write pretty. It never works out. So I'm glad that they gave me like a hundred tabs to keep trying. I don't know, whenever I want my handwriting to look nice, it never does, so here's hoping. I'm just gonna separate them, you know, main course, dessert, I don't know, what, side dishes, I guess. Sure, why not? <laughs> the dessert pocket is gonna be like this big. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Show me your love like it is, like it is And open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love and leave me breathless, breathless Okay, here it is, all finished, all ready. I mean, it looks better than that. And really, I should go through these and pick out the recipes that I love. Uh, for now, I like that mostly these are cohesive. You know, the recipes all look the same. So I realized as I was going through, I could have done like dinners and then slow cooker dinners or whatever, like separated them that way. But I have dinners, side dishes, desserts, uh, lunches, and I think that's it. So maybe holiday, I'll add to it. I'm not really sure, but for now, I feel good about this. What's for dinner tonight? I don't know. Okay, I've landed on honey glazed pork tenderloin for dinner, and then for a uh, side dish, I'll make roasted balsamic Brussels sprouts. I feel like those two will really pair well together. They have a lot of the same ingredients, balsamic vinegar, honey, <laughs> what more do you need, right? But that meat is the slow cooker recipe and I told you half the day has already gone by more than half of my day anyway. I feel like it's almost bedtime. Is it almost bedtime? So that means I need to get the meat out of the freezer. I'm gonna dunk it in a little bath in the uh, sink and probably throw it in the Instant Pot. Probably not the best, but that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, before I continue with all the food and stuff, I wanted to share with you KiwiCo. Humongous thanks to KiwiCo for continuing to support me. Huge thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. 
So, we've been getting KiwiCo crates now for I, a couple of years. I adore them. If you're unaware, KiwiCo sells crates. They're science and art projects for kids, but really the age range ranges from zero to a hundred. So they have nine different styles of crates. They have a Eureka Crate, a Maker Crate, Tinker Crate, Doodle Crate, Yummy Crate, Atlas Crate, Kiwi Crate, Koala Crate, and a Panda Crate. And depending on your child's interest or your interest or your age, that's how you can figure out which crate would be best for you. My kids always love when the KiwiCo crates come in the mail because they're so much fun. They have hands-on experiences and KiwiCo's mission is to provide the next generation of innovators with skills and confidence to become problem solvers and critical thinkers and that's what these crates are all about. They're STEAM based. Did I mention that? So they're science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. So there's so much that goes into these crates. They are enriching, they're educational, they spark creativity. But then they're also fun. They have really kid-friendly instructions, they're easy to follow. We've given KiwiCo crates as uh, like birthday gifts and it's always a hit. And when our kids do it, it's kind of like quality time for them because I sit with them and do the crate with them, even though some of them can be independent. Oftentimes when Eleanor has friends over and you know, they're in a lull and they'll say I'm bored and I'll say, hey, let's bust out a KiwiCo crate and it's always a good time. Wentworth is my big kinesthetic learner and this month's crate for him is a paleontologist starter kit and I just think that's the cutest thing. So if you're interested in trying out any of the KiwiCo crates, you can use my link in the description box below and get 30% off of your first order of any crate of your choosing. They have so many to choose from. Let me know which one you choose and I just know that you're going to love it. You can use my link, kiwico.com slash thewads30 to get 30% off. And there's that, let's head back to the kitchen. Well, because it's so much later in the day, I'm deviating a lot from this recipe. The fact that I have to make it in the Instant Pot and add liquid, I'm not searing it on the stove top, I'm not reducing the glaze, so I'll take this recipe with a grain of salt. But we're gonna do it, okay? Couple tablespoons of olive oil right in the Instant Pot here. I feel like the flavors might be a bit muted because I do have to dilute it with probably uh, three quarters cup to a cup of water so the Instant Pot can actually do its job. How much honey? Half a cup of honey. Oh, this might be a sticky, boily mess. I'm just gonna do the rest of the honey that I have. I don't like measuring cups and I don't like putting nearly empty things back in my cupboard. Two fun facts you know about me. Share with me two fun facts about you. <laughs> okay, great. Oh my gosh, speaking of that candle, my favorite. I'm gonna light it up. You have to light a candle when you're expecting guests, right? It's law, the law. Two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, except for this is cocoa amino. So let's do two tablespoons of that. Sounds good, a one, two. Oh my gosh, I can't open this. What is balsamic vinegar, fancy or something? I can't get it. Oh my gosh, hashtag not worth it. Okay, there are two types of people in the world. The types of people who love balsamic vinegar and those people who have never had it. <laughs> I feel like those are the two types. I don't know if I'm, yeah, I've had it before, but I don't know, it's okay. It's all right, a couple more in there and we're good to go. A little bit of onion powder up in here. A little bit of garlic powder. Good. A little bit of paprika. Mm-hmm. It's nice and smoky. What else? <sighs> One tablespoon of the brown sugar. The golden sugar. And then some salt and pepper goes in. I'm gonna mix this, maybe a little more salt. I'm gonna put some water in. The sink is so convenient. I don't know, enough in there. Oh, someone's calling me, hold on. I'm losing my mind. Okay, everything is nice and incorporated in there. And I'm just gonna add 
my basically completely frozen pulled pork. Pulled pork? Hmm. I will say that this glaze smells so dang good, even though I didn't even make it the way that I was supposed to make it. Um, I'm throwing the pork in there. I think the recipe calls for two pounds. Costco has the best price. I cut it off, but on their pork tenderloins, you get two tenderloins for what I feel like the price you get for one at a normal grocery store. It's incredible, unbelievable. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna wash my hands and stuff. Did someone say banana bread? That's what we're moving on to now. I've been wanting to make this for quite some time. I know everyone and their mom has the best banana bread recipe. I'm here to tell you, they don't, and I do. So maybe you should make this one and save yourself the trouble. <laughs> the re and I really don't follow the recipe anymore. I kind of make it my own, are you surprised? Kind of made my own recipe. Two sticks of butter. I'm gonna soften this up in the microwave. The recipe calls for one stick, and I just feel like that's not enough. I used to do one stick, and then my brother came over and made banana bread. He used two sticks, and his was exponentially better. And I said, I'm doing two sticks next time. Sadly, I don't have two sticks. I mean, I kind of do, but I don't feel like walking all the way to the garage to get it. So I'm just using what I have in this fridge. It's like a stick and three quarters of a stick, and that's good enough. You can get out your stand mixer, but I've already messed this bowl up. So I'm going to add in the sugar. You need three quarters cup of brown golden sugar. And I'm just gonna do my best to cream these together. I feel so domestic when I mix stuff by hand, <laughs> you know? Also, my brother mixed his by hand, so I'm telling you, he really, pioneered this recipe, okay? <laughs> okay, that's looking good. Then we add two eggs. Boom, chocolate. Give that a nice mix. Okay, the original recipe calls for sour, nope, what is it called? Yogurt. One third cup of Greek yogurt. Well, wouldn't you know, I just used all my Greek yogurt to make, I don't know, whatever I made the other day with a bunch of Greek yogurt. Oh, pasta salad, I shared that in my grocery haul. I don't know, I always add a little bit more. It's more like half a cup for me. Why do I measure anything? I don't know. Okay, then you mix that in. You can use whatever you have. Shoot, if you have mayonnaise, I'm sure that would work well, too. <laughs> this is just to keep it creamy. You could use oil, I bet, but you know, you know. Here comes the fun part, and I used to do this in a separate bowl, and then I realized, oh wow, why am I washing a separate bowl? That is one banana I had in the freezer. Sadly, I had one in the car that I meant to bring in, but didn't, and then I'm pretty sure someone ate it. It was nice and brown, and then this one looks, okay, could be more ripe, and then these could definitely be more ripe, but I can't wait any longer to make this banana bread. So four bananas, and that's something that I really love about this banana bread recipe, is that it uses four dang bananas. It actually tastes like banana bread, and if you have a lot, cause I never have just one. I mean, I guess I had one in my freezer. I used to have like 20 in my freezer, you know? You, should I use a masher for this? You could use a potato masher. I have a pastry blender. Since these bananas aren't like way over ripe, like they should be when you're making banana bread. I'm a rule breaker. Uh, I'm just gonna use this pastry blender to make sure I don't have super large chunks in here. But yeah, I love that it uses four bananas. That's what really drew me to this recipe to begin with. And then I have just since kind of doctored it up throughout the years of, you know, making it. Okay, now that that's over with, I'm going to add, oh my gosh, who closed that? Someone with muscles. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And that concludes the wet ingredients. Now we're gonna move on to the dry. Of course you can do this in a separate bowl, but ugh, have we met? two cups of flour, and I will say throughout the years, I've definitely experimented with this as well. I used to use oats. I used to cut them like half flour, half whole wheat flour, add some oats, flaxseed. Literally, it's so versatile. You can add whatever you want to recipes, and it will still probably turn out just fine. So just two cups of whatever flour. Oh crap, why am I mixing? We're not done. One teaspoon of baking soda. You're right in the way of my uh, tea. Oh wait, wait, wait. My teaspoons are hither. 
I almost forgot I have my life organized. How much of this crap? One teaspoon of baking soda. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not even sure, like there's chunks in here, let me just get them out. I'm not even sure this baking soda is good anymore. Last time I made cookies for our neighbors the other day and then didn't even bring them to our neighbors because I was so embarrassed. They were just, I don't know, they like didn't, they didn't look right. And I blame the baking soda. So if this doesn't work out, it's definitely the baking soda. Okay, some cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, leave it out. If you wanna go ham, I don't know, add nutmeg. You can add some clove, spice, allspice, whatever you want. I just like nutmeg, I like that. Oh, little, oh, this is what makes the house smell homey. I'm gonna add a little more. My dad really likes cinnamon and this reminds me of pancakes on Sunday morning. And then if you want, you can add some chopped nuts. I don't know if I'm in the mood for nuts anymore. Am I? Yeah, it gives it a nice, texture. Well, my personal nut of choice when it comes to banana bread are pecans. Um, uh-oh. Where can I put these? Where they won't fall over and spill everywhere. That's okay. More for me. I was going to cut these up, but I don't know. I'll just crush them a little bit. These are walnuts. And that's what I had just in my freezer. I like to keep nuts stored in the freezer because nuts have a lot of natural oils in them and they can go rancid pretty easily. So keeping them in the freezer ensures a really long uh, shelf life. You need half a cup, yeah, that's like double. The more the merrier is what I say. So I'm gonna get this into a pan and we'll be right back. Mmm, this smells so good! This smells so good! <laughs> Oh wait, do I have a pan? Yeah, I do, and it's fancy. Mm, 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 banana bread. You guys know I like to keep the skin of the butter to be able to grease the pan, whatever pan I'm using. This is a loaf pan. And really, ooh, this, is, this recipe is a lot, okay? And the skins of these butters is actually pretty stingy, so I might have to go get my spray. It's, you can tell. It's greased. Is it enough? We'll find out. <laughs> okay, this recipe, sometimes I make two loaves because it is a lot. So, um, you know what? I'm gonna make one loaf and then whatever's left, I'll make like mini muffins, right? Because I do have to make some finger food for Alex tonight and I feel like even if I cut banana bread, it's just cuter when it comes in a little muffin form. So yeah, do you see what I mean? Like that's a hefty loaf. And then you still have all of this. So I have made it before in one loaf and it has spilled over and made a mess of my oven. So I'm gonna play it safe. Oh my, I, you know I have to. Okay, salmonella, I dare you. Oh my dang. Oh my dang. Heaven help me. Heaven. I need your help. So I just realized I, I don't know, I don't think I shared with you the final reveal of the actual banana bread. Sadly, at this point, we have eaten it all, so I can't get a clip of it for you, but just know it was amazing, delicious, moist, all of the things that we want out of a banana bread, and more. And more, if I'm being honest. Yep, the best I've ever had. Okay, this is an absolute joy I can't express to you. I'm gonna throw these in the oven, 350 degrees. I don't really know how long. Uh, this one I will throw in for 30 minutes, then put tin foil over it and cook for another 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, check it and make sure it's done all the way through. Well, while these are cooking, I am going to, ooh, what rack am I gonna put these on right here, I guess? I'm gonna start cleaning up my kitchen. It is a disaster. It's the heart of the home, We're having some guests over, so I don't want it to look messy. And it is a mess because like I said yesterday, we spent a lot of the day in the garage. When, the out, when we're outside, <laughs> somehow the house is a mess. We get to it though, it's fine. So let's do that. I found this song and I was like, this is different. Maybe we'll like it. Let's see. If only I had listened for a while I would have told you I miss your smile Ooh. I thought of you as a friend who can't let go But when you left I could feel it go Like a body of water Oh
Red. Okay, this is okay. not my favorite song I've ever picked, but it's here, so we're going to roll with it. Uh, it reminds me of something, okay? This song is called Body of Water. It's by Valique. I don't know. My eyesight is really going. That's a story for another day. Uh, <laughs> but I was watching on Instagram yesterday. Someone was trying to erase something from her hand, but she had the sink running the entire time. She wasn't using the water from the sink. I mean, she dipped it in. She dipped the sponge in, and then she was scrubbing her. And the whole time, I was like, "Turn the sink off." Does that bother anyone else? Like, are you the type of person who lets the sink run as you brush your teeth, or do you turn it off? Two types of people in the world. Okay, those are the two different types of people. I turn it off. I cannot stand running water. Sometimes I keep it running when I'm doing my dishes. I'm guilty of that, but not when I'm brushing my teeth. Okay, no way, no how. Oh, good. The song's almost over. <laughs> Great. Okay, here it is all done. I'll put the dishes away once they dry in a little bit. Feels so, it always feels good to have a clean kitchen, right? Uh, banana bread little muffins are done. The banana bread, I just put tin foil over it. Might be a little early, but that's okay. Oh, those look so good. Now let's head to my closet. Cool. Can't wait. Okay, here's my closet. I feel like it could be worse. It did look worse the other day, but here it is now. That's my mountain. They're all clean. I just have to hang them up. I've got a ton of empty hangers up there. So I'm just gonna get to it. This is my stack of frames that like, I don't even know where I'm gonna put them. I initially wanted to, I'm taking my shoes off. <laughs> I initially wanted to put that in my bathroom. I guess I just need to go get a nail and do that, right? I don't know, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> but I love being in here. I, it's like one of my favorite rooms in the entire house, even though it can get a little crowded. Like right now I have all the Easter stuff up here just waiting. But first I'm gonna make my bed, because I, every time I come in my room, I'm like, oh my gosh, Kim, make the bed. It's such a small task. There's a wet towel in my bed, why? It's okay, it wasn't that bad. Popcorn, who the heck? Like I said, we had a busy morning and afternoon, so we just didn't get to it. And it's fine, like sometimes you just don't get to things, but eventually, you do. And that's life. I like going to bed with, a bed that's made even if I like just tidy it up real quick right before <laughs> I fall asleep because sometimes that happens too all right better than before I'm honestly a little ashamed that I've let my closet get this bad but I also have to remind myself like <laughs> I've been sick for four months like that's a long time to be sick imagine like having the flu and that lasts for a couple of days. And imagine like how much mess piles up in your house in that amount of time. Imagine like having the flu for four months, you know? Like I feel like that's what it's like. And so I just have to remind myself, I'm getting my life back together one piece at a time. I'm putting out the fires one fire at a time. And eventually it'll all, well, I'd like to say it'll all be fine, but there will always be a mess to clean. And that's just life, and we have to tackle it one thing at a time. That's how I, why do I have so many sweaters? <laughs> I'm wearing a sweater right now, and I gotta tell you, uh, I'm sweating. 
Okay, when I tell you that the other day my closet looked worse, I think it was actually the day before this, it looked worse. I actually tidied it up, if you can believe that, because I, I filmed some Instagram clips in here for Thread Up, and, um, I, you know, I took all the piles of clothes. There was actually multiple piles of clothes. They were all clean. I just, you know, kind of put it all into one spot so it looked semi-tidy, but also it wasn't in my closet. Do you, anyway, so what am I, what's the point that I'm trying to make here? Who knows? What's the point of anything that I say? Nothing, really. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to stay on top of it. So far, so good. It's been a few days since then, and my closet is so lovely. I walk in there. I, you know, when, not that anyone ever really comes in our room, but if they ever come in our bathroom, like we have a bunch of kids, sometimes when they come in from the lake, they want to, you know, shower and they love that we have a double shower head in our shower so the kids go in there with their bathing suits on and they get all the lake water off of them you know so anyway they walk by the closet and now I'm not like embarrassed I can keep the door open and I'm like oh isn't this amazing <laughs> like I love my closet I think it's amazing it is amazing it's cool um so I you know I don't mind if they peek in now. Whereas before, I was like, oh my gosh, shield thine eyes. Don't look anywhere. It's a disaster. So, I don't know. I, I, moral of the story, clean your space and you won't be embarrassed of it. <laughs> that's, that's my takeaway. I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial. Cause you want down bills right now, but you gotta work real hard. I know you want it to be easy, so let your guard done finally it was probably like the worst camera angles ever <laughs> I don't know how I filmed a closet makeover video in this closet it feels so good in here oh my gosh to have my closet back it really I this closet is a dream I cannot believe it still so it's it's nice to have it nice and tidy in here it's always nice to have a clean space but especially one that you love. I think when everything is up off of the floor, it just obviously makes it feel cleaner and tidier. No clothes on up there. Everything is in its place just where it should be and dang, that feels good. I initially wasn't gonna share doing laundry, but then I thought, you know what, maybe it'll motivate you to get a load done. I obviously haven't done it in several days. And surprisingly enough, it's mostly Towels. I feel like we go through so many towels. It was just the weekend. We had, you know, a bunch of kids over. They go in the lake for 10 minutes. They come inside. Their towel is damp. They go back out again and then they use another towel. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so, anyway, I need to tackle it. I'm going to mostly just fold the towels and then put the rest of the clothes in here just so it looks tiny. It's all an illusion over here. Just so people are passing through. They're not like, ugh. It's more like, oh, yeah. I just want the house to look tidy when, uh, for when we have guests come over. What's that noise? Someone cleaning without me asking them? They're pressure washing the outside cushions again. You know, we bought Scotch Guard for those cushions, and wouldn't you know it, we can't find it anywhere. <laughs> we put it in a safe place. Oh my gosh, I can't tell. Um, I thought for sure we'd find it in the garage when we cleaned it. Nope, didn't find it out there. I think it's in Alex's closet. I don't know, man. I feel like we've looked everywhere, unless Alex found it, and that's why he's cleaning them, because, you know, otherwise you clean them and they get dirty, but if you have Scotch Guard, it's a little better. Anyway, what I was going to say 
is I like to clean before guests come over. And you know when you were a kid, like you had your mom to remind you, like, when have guests coming over, like clean your crap up, clean your room up. And as a kid, you're like, mom, no one's gonna come in my room. Like they're not, what? And as a mom, you're like, clean it anyway. Cause that's what I tell my kids. I'm like, but they're gonna walk by your room. <laughs> that's a mess. Kinda wish I had someone to tell me, like, come on, get up and clean your room. There's no one, it's just our internal manager, right? I feel like mine's pretty good. I got a pretty good internal manager. Oh my gosh, speaking of things that I found in my garage, Uno Rummy Up, two of my favorite games combined in one. Sometimes we just need that mom motivation <laughs> in the form of a threat. I love that when we have company, we have to pretend that like, we don't actually live in our houses. <laughs> oh, oh, a messes? What are those? We never make those. Oh, welcome. All right, let's get to it. Hey, random side note. I'm really craving rum balls and I'm about to make them. I'm pretty sure I'm about to make them. <laughs> I'm debating like, should I? Oh, I, I get scared about everything. Should I make rum balls? Yes or no? The answer is yes. So if you thought no, think again. And then also, they're non-alcoholic, so calm down. Well, I guess technically, rum extract does have alcohol in it, but not much. It's totally fine, right? I think so. It's like, no big deal. I love rum balls. Also it reminds me of Christmas, yum. I just put another load in, and oh, there it is. There's the magic right there. Oh, well, I'm about to sneeze, but I do, I love the sound of like the washer and dryer going and the windows being open. Love this. Here is the pork, all finished. Ooh, la 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 la. Uh, that's a lot. Wonder if this is good gravy or not because I uh, made some veggies and I have some rice going. Delish. Okay, here it is. I just cut it up. Avelina just had a piece and she said, that's really good. Like she's pleasantly surprised I've never made good food in my entire life. No. Anyway, doesn't, doesn't this look so nice? Oh my gosh, Meredith, you look so darling. Hello. What are you saying, Santa party? Sprinkle party? Yeah, sprinkle party. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Meredith's gonna have a sprinkle party and we're gonna eat dinner. I also made some rice over here. Uh, we're gonna chow down. I'm ready for it. Oh, by the way, I ended up not making the Brussels sprouts in case you didn't notice, but. Yeah. Well, I would call this. A home run. <laughs> That's what Alex calls dinners when everyone eats it. Um, yep, it was good. One suggestion that Alex had, excuse me, quiet on set here. Oh, too much. <laughs> right, too much. Um, shred the pork or maybe cut it into smaller pieces and then soak it in the juices. I did have the, I put the juices in like a gravy boat, but he said, you know, it, it does tend to get a little dry, but everyone ate it, everyone liked it, but that would be my one suggestion because we did pour this over top. All right, other than that, it was delicious, it was great, wonderful, <laughs> moving on. Since dinner is done, moving on to, I'm gonna make a, a board just full of snacks and then a veggie board. I don't know if the boys are gonna want a veggie board. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really care. They can eat it, they cannot. All I know is I'm gonna be in bed. But I do know everyone loves cashews, right? Also, I kind of feel like this will be a take on the Valentine's Day board that I never got to make because I was so sick. So I had these heart-shaped macaroons. And that's what all the boys really want. Oh, one is smush, but that's okay. We'll put it in the back. Yeah, don't you hear men just say, ooh, I love a good macaroon. <laughs> I'm just gonna pile these up. I guarantee you, these will be the first to go, okay? Ooh, oh, maybe I'll do a pattern. 
Yeah, that's cute. I don't really have a lot else planned for this board. I've got some pretzels. So for not having much planned for this board, it sure came together. It looked really good. And I just love a good snack board. Don't you? I have that beautiful board charcuterie board book in my kitchen. And I literally love looking at it. I change it for this seasons or whatever holiday is coming up. And I, it just brings me so much dang joy. Kind of like a Reese's. Reese's brings me joy too. Mm, I'd like to have one of those right now in my mouth. Hey, I made it work. Um, I actually did plan on putting these in. I put them in the fridge to prepare them for their special occasion. Banana muffins I had on a different tray. These worked out. The nuts, the uh, yogurt covered pretzels. These are like thin mint pretzels. Oh my gosh. All the vultures came. They were like, can I have, can I? I was like, nine down now. Okay. I let them have a little bit of each, but you know, some kids are allergic. I said, these are for dad's friends. All right. Uh, moving on to the veggies. Moving on to the veggie board, the only thing I really need to cut are the, is the pepper. I don't know, I have some baby carrots, I have some celery that's cut, and then some ranch uh, dip, whatever that's called. Okay, here's the finished veggie tray. Good enough, am I right? No skill involved at all, just some nice, Colorful, rich, delicious, nutrient dense veggies. Does the ranch dip kind of negate the fact that I'm eating something healthy? I don't think so. I really don't. All right, into the fridge. I'm gonna put the rest of these carrots in here. Just for fun, you know? Save some space. Okay, one more board, kind of. This will be a simple one. I'm not sure I've showed you the finished, uh, you know, little cheese and meat, but this is the full spread up here. <laughs> Seems so silly. I got some bowls for the chips that Alex bought, and then here's the stuff I created, and then some bowls so they can throw it together. And then I think they're gonna order pizza or something. That's their thing. I don't, I don't know, man. I hope they have a good time. They're playing poker. I don't know if I explained that. It's like a bunch of his buddies that he doesn't see all the time. So uh, that should be fun. I hope they have fun. I don't know, I'll be sleeping. <laughs> okay, that is it for today. I am pooped. I am wiped. What does my Oma say? I am bushed. That's what she says. Oh my gosh, I love grandparents. <laughs> I am bushed. I'm gonna start saying that way more often. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to check out KiwiCo. You can get 30% off your first order of any crate if you use my link in the description box below, kiwico.com slash thewads30. My kids seriously love it. They have so many different activities. Love them. I hope you enjoyed your time. If you did subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.